G'day guys, welcome to Tasmanian Fishing Adventures. Today I'm in Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park. I'll be fishing in a lovely little stream surrounded by this pencil pine rainforest. We'll see if we can catch us a couple of trout. So let's go fishing. So behind me you can see one of our Bennett's wallabies, they're also known as red-necked wallabies. They are quite common in Tasmania, you can find them across all of the states. So when you are fishing, keep an eye out for our Bennett's wallabies, they will be around. So today we are fishing in the Pencil Pine Creek. So it is quite a small little waterway. It will be flowing into the Dove River later on. So it does start up here in the Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park, quite close to the accommodations here at Cradle Mountain. So it's a fairly accessible river. So there is plenty of opportunities for other people to come along, enjoy this little waterway and have a fish. Today I will be using my lure rod again uh, just so that we can be uh, covering as much water as possible. It's quite an overgrown little creek as well. So we will be fishing with this lure, see if we can catch anything. So because we are fishing in a World Heritage Area today, you can only use artificial lures and flies. So today we'll be using a lure, but otherwise the seasons and the bag limits will not change. So today we can be keeping up to five trout in Pencil Pine Creek uh, if you were to choose so. So even though it is a World Heritage Area, it doesn't mean that the rivers are reserved. So you are allowed to fish. You still can uh, target native fish as well. So there are blackfish in the rivers. You can still fish for those native fish as well. So the lure of choice today is Rapala Extrap. So I have quite a dark brown colour on this one because the river is quite dark in coloration. So the fish in the river will have that dark colour to them. So this should be mimicking a brown trout that will live in this river. It's also got a little bit of orange on its tail. That will also help the fish to find it and they're likely to be striking at those orange or red colours. So today we'll be catching brown trout. So in these streams, brown trout will be present, but rainbow trout wouldn't prefer to live in these smaller areas. And the water colour and the colour of the rocks being quite dark brown, we can expect to catch quite dark brown brown trout as well. So it is the start of January today, so the water level is quite low, being kind of that middle of summer type period. So this diving lure does appear to be catching a little bit of the, the slime on those rocks, which definitely doesn't help. It stops the lure from swimming properly. So we'll keep trying with this uh, same lure for a little bit longer. 
but we might need to change our tactic if we keep catching the bottom so much. So because the water is so low and clear, if you get into the pool that you're fishing, it's quite likely that you might spook some of the fish in there because you are getting into that water, disturbing that calm water, the fish will be able to feel that movement. So that is why I'm standing just behind this pool here. And I'll cast into this little pool before I actually walk into it so that I'm not disturbing those fish. Oh, yep. All right, we've got the first fish in the net. It's a little brown trout, got some nice red patterns on him. We'll pick him up. Not a bad little fish for a small stream. Got some nice red pattern on him there as well. But you can see that he's quite dark on top, and that's because the rocks and the water tannins make the water quite dark. So we'll get the hook out of him. We'll put him back. It's a nice little fish to start off with. Let's put him back. Off he goes. Oh, another fish. Here we go. Another little brown trout. Get him into the net. There you go, that's catch and release for you. Uh, another little brown trout, that was the cast after uh, that first fish there. So we're on a hat trick. We'll see if we can get onto a third fish and three casts. Tannin colour in the water, that comes from the Button Grass Plain. So further upstream, across a lot of the Cradle Mountain Plateau, there's a lot of Button Grass, and Button Grass has a lot of tannins in it. So when it rains, those tannins are pushed out of the Button Grass, and as they flow down into the stream. That is why the water is so dark in coloration. Woo! Good fish. Have a look at this fish. Good sized fish. Alright, have a look at this fish, lovely fish from this little deep pool with that waterfall, what a beautiful spot. Have a look at how dark that fish is on top there. Dark, dark fish, we'll get him back in the water guys.
So that's a wrap from me today. We caught a few little fish, a few little brown trout. It was quite a fun morning to be fishing. Quite a beautiful area surrounded by a lovely rainforest and of course this beautiful waterfall behind me. So it was quite a nice day to be fishing today. So until next time, I hope to see you out on the water, wherever that may be.